Probably the most important type of source we can create is the window capture. Window capture can capture almost everything that is happening on our screen and specifically focus on that source and exclude everything else. This gives us the possibility to show our students only what we want to. With window capture we can, for example, capture a web page and display it. First, we need to prepare our web browser. If you're using Chrome as a web browser, you need to deactivate the hardware acceleration. Open a Chrome web page and click the three dots in the top right corner of your browser page. Access the settings menu and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Click the advanced tab and keep scrolling until you find the system options. Here deactivate the use hardware acceleration when available and restart the Chrome browser. If you're using Firefox or Opera web browsers, you don't need to change any settings. They work perfectly fine without having to change any settings. Now go on your OBS screen, click the plus button in the sources box and add a window capture source. Give a name to your source layer and click the OK button. A new window will appear. The previous screen might be empty or not. Click over the menu window and in the list that appears, search the web page that you want to display in this specific window capture source. With each window capture, we can only link one window and one window only. Be careful when you want to open a new tab in a web page. When you open a new tab, it might look like the link between our window capture source and our web page has disappeared. However, this is not the case. The window capture source will always display the content that is displayed in the connected web page window. The window capture refers to the web page we selected in the drop down menu. If we change this and open a new tab on our web page, OBS will then only display the new tab that you just opened and not the previous one. If you want to capture two web pages, you need to open them on two different pages and then link every new page to a new window capture source dedicated to it. Otherwise, you can only use a single window capture source and during your presentation, move through the different tab of your web page.